Hey guys, this is Danielle from So Much Crafting, and I shared a picture on Instagram, kind of a what's in my bag picture last week, and I just wanted to do a quick video. I thought it'd be fun to kind of go through and um, show you what's in my bag. So this is a whipping post tote, and I just have to say, first of all, I don't normally buy expensive bags. I've never owned something um, expensive and I really looked at this bag for a long time and wanted to purchase it but couldn't see myself um, spending almost $200 on a bag. And when a friend of mine was, she advertised she was selling it on Instagram for a little bit less, I decided to go ahead and purchase it because if I didn't like it, I could turn around and sell it for what I paid for it. Um, and that was almost probably six months ago. And I, I, I like this bag. It's just a plain leather bag, but it's really durable. It's not, um, enclosed. There's nothing, I mean, it's just plain leather, but it's just a nice durable bag. I shifted from a diaper bag to this bag um, probably, like I said, six months ago, maybe a little bit less, and um, I just didn't want to carry a purse and a diaper bag around. So anyway, I just wanted to, um, I don't have a lot in here, but I wanted to share with you what's in my bag um, and help. So I'll, the, um, if you look at my channel picture, you can see like a view, I'll include a view of, um, like how I have it organized from the inside. My camera is too close to the, um, bag to get a good view, but basically I have these three totes and there's something else on oh, my wallet, my wallet. That's it. And then I do have a couple little toys and sometimes I'll throw a sippy cup in here or whatnot for my little girl. But, um, Anyway, I just keep it pretty basic. When I got this bag or the tote, I didn't have any organization in it and it was really frustrating because I'd throw stuff in and it wouldn't stay upright. I like things to stand upright and um, I have accumulated these things since then. This is just a wallet. It's from Vera Bradley and I honestly purchased it on Zulily with some referral credits there. It's just, I'm not going to um, show you the inside, but it's just a little wallet. It opens up and has three little compartments, one zipper in the middle and several credit card or debit card slots in it. And it's, I just switched to it not long ago. It's a padded like fabric and I don't know. Anyway. And then, um, these two things are from Marine Parents on Etsy. I'll leave a link down below but it's Marine Parents, and this is a diaper clutch. I purchased this specifically to do its job. Hold a few diapers, some wipes. This is just like a, um, oh, what is it called? Like a waterproof cloth, and um, I usually just lay that down in case my daughter needs a diaper change while we're out and about out and about um, and it's just it's not waterproof the bag itself is not but it just keeps everything nice and neat inside my bag and um, has a little handle I've actually purchased another one of these to house um, one of my planners if I throw it in my bag but when I saw April on Instagram she posted a um, like a flash sale. She does that every once in a while and I saw these little bags and the measurements are like the perfect size for my personal size Filofax and um, I just liked this little print. It's just little foxes. It's kind of orange and it matches the Filofax and one thing about the originals is they I feel like if they get scratched there's no give. Uh, my Malden if I scratch it, there's it's it's not a big deal. It gives it more character. But with the originals, I don't want it to. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just more of a shiny, smooth leather, and I don't want it to get scratched by my keys and whatnot in my bag. So I purchased this little bag. It's a project bag from Marine Parents, and I will give a disclaimer. It's tight to get in. It does fit, but you do have to be careful when you're putting it in and out. And the inside is this cute polka dot. Is that not just perfect? It's just, I don't know, April stuff. I have several of her bags. Um, I have those two. And then I have this little bag that I carry cosmetics or um, actually when we travel to Kansas, I put my phone chargers and my headphones and whatnot in there. She just has good quality. And honestly, um, I sew, I can make them, but I just love supporting other small businesses. And I'm glad and thankful that I um, am able to do that. 
I know it's not much to purchase like one little item here and there, but I love supporting small businesses. So I have purchased both of those and this one. And I actually, like I said, I have another one that I've purchased from her. I feel like there's one more that I'm missing, but um, it's probably tucked away somewhere. So those are that. And then this is an Orla Kylie bag. Um, it's a cosmetic bag and they don't sell these at Target anymore, but I put out a plea on Instagram and some friends helped me, um, actually two people. I have a green one and I have this one and it's just a cosmetic bag that I keep in here with some pins. I keep my pins in there. Um, I just have a few laugh out loud, right? Um, and then I have these skinny post-it notes that I use for on the go planning. I'll write an event on those and then pop them in my planner. I don't write in my planner for future weeks. I just write on a post-it note. And then these are Ollie clips. They are, um, magnetic clips. I'll link those on Etsy as well, but they're nice to have for your planner. They're pretty strong. I'm trying to see, I don't have anything right here that I can show you. Um, oh, actually I have this. This is a sneak peek. This is our Midori style inserts. Um, we've converted the Christmas kit to it and it just, I mean, it clips all the way around that. That's 14 pages there of our good paper and it, it's, I mean, it's tight there. Um, anyway, so that's that. I do use those sometimes in my planner. Um, on this side, I have these stickers from Michael's. I've used them here and there. They're nothing to write home about, but they're nice to have. I didn't, I don't know. I don't even remember pay, probably paid a couple bucks for them. And then I have some post-it notes. They're actually big brand. They're from the planner society monthly kit a couple months ago. Those are in there. I keep a thumb drive here in the middle and I keep a small little pair of scissors in this. I'm sorry, you're, you can't even see. Um, a small little pair of scissors in this last pocket. And that's it. That's all that I keep in my bag are these four items. Like I said, sometimes I'll throw a sippy cup or some toys or um, whatever I need for the day. My keys are obviously in there. I have some mints and gum, but that's boring. Um, anyway, but that's how I keep my bag organized. I actually, sometimes that'll fit in there. Um, the way I organize it in my whipping post is these three stand upright and then anything else kind of just stands here at the end and then my phone fits in the pocket. So here, let me turn this sideways so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So I just like having things organized and nice and neat in my bag. It keeps it um, a little easier to grab. If I need to drop my daughter off in the nursery, I just grab this and leave that for the nursery workers. If I wanna um, grab my planner, I can just grab that bag out. Or like I said, it keeps it protected. My pins and pencils and extra planning supplies are here and then just other little things. So if you have any questions, you can um, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back with you. Otherwise, I just wanted to share what was in my bag and I will leave links to the shops that I mentioned down below in the comments. And if you have any video ideas or any requests of things that you want to see, leave a comment and I will do my best to um, get a video filmed for you. I actually finally figured out a way to film quickly and easily with my iPhone. I didn't realize that I could do that. I know. Um, and so it doesn't take as much time and effort to get everything set up. So I might be doing more videos. Leave me a comment if you have any ideas. And if you don't subscribe already, make sure you do that and give us a thumbs up. Thanks guys. Have a good one.